Hey, my name is Jakub Piesik, and today I want to show you something related to the Microsoft Intune. On today's episode, I want to show you what is the enrollment notifications, which will be sent to your end users. And I want to show you also how to configure the alerts to get a notification when the service, which is used, for example, for the cloud PC will be down. So let's start. The first thing what I want to configure is the alerts because they can be very useful when you have configured the network Azure network connection for your uh, Windows 365 machines. And if we go to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, later of course it will be Microsoft Intune Admin Center, Tenant Administrators, Administration, go to the Alerts tab, in the preview, you will see the alerts on the main screen, but because I don't have any configured alerts for now, I need to go to alert rules. For now, we can configure only three alerts, uh, which is defined by the Microsoft. Maybe in the future, we will have possibility to create also own alerts, which will be very useful. So, for example, I will select the Azure Network Connection Failure. I'm opening it. Here is the name, here is the description and conditions. Rule, Azure Network Connection Checks have failed. Okay, threshold greater than equal to specify the value and select the value. For example, instances, cloud PCs, percentage of instances or percentage of cloud PCs. I will select instances because I have three instances of the Azure Network Connection. So I will select greater than or equal to one. Sovereignty, I will select the critical. Status need to be on because with, uh, with status off, this alert will be not working. And notification on the portal, okay. Email, I will provide my email address. Click apply. And this alert was now turned on. So let's see again, provisioning failure impacting cloud PC. If I have configured that Azure network connection failure, I have configured also the provisioning failures. So set up this provisioning has failed greater than or equal to one cloud PC. It's okay. Critical status on portal pop up on email also. And couple words about the threshold, greater than equal to one cloud PC. On my test lab, I will set up to one value because I have only one license. Uh, in, it will be okay, but if you have multiple license for the Windows 365 cloud PCs, select this value to some something different. Because if the one machine will be failed, you will get an alert notification. So I'm clicking the apply. Applied failure for custom images. You can also configure it, but I will don't do that because I'm not using the custom images anymore on my Windows 365 machines. But when I start working with custom images again, I will configure it. After configuring the alerts, the alerts will be visible on the alert tab. So for now, there are this Windows is empty because the alerts was configured a couple of minutes ago. I will see the alert when the I will try to provision the machine and we will back to this alert tab later. Now I want to show you something about the enrollment notification. So go to devices, select the platform for which you want to configure the enrollment notification. I will select the Windows, Windows enrollment tab and select the enrollment notification preview. The Windows notification is currently turned off and since not configured, so I will configure one policy and roll and notification default for all users. Without any doubt description, click create next, click next. Push notification, email notification. For me, it will be I have to 
for me it will be enough to have in my notification so I'm turning on providing a subject for that email new machine is ready to use some message you can use the HTML tab tags if you select the on machine is ready to use for example something like that it, for this movie it will be enough email header you need to provide a um, show company logo on or off email foot footer show device details on show company name show contact information show company portal website line link this link will directly move the user to the device on the portal manage microsoft.com for now it will be everything but before you turn on that you need to configure the user experience and branding you can do that using the tenant administration and customization tab everything here need to be configured also you need to have configured that settings on the portal azure.com azure active directory company branding here those settings need to be configured okay so i'm clicking the next scope tag default because i don't using the scope tags in my environment now i'm selecting to which groups of users this enrollment notification will be visible only standard users without filters click next event create and the default for me default notification pre uh, enrollment notification was created now i will try to um, now I will try to provision one machine to see how it's work. For my testing purposes, I provisioned one machine for the end user. That was the machine for the fully Azure Active Directory join. It's assigned to the Jakub Piesik user. And if when I logged into the webmail of that user, I got an email that your machine is ready to use with the logo, with the device details. And if I click on the view details button, it's redirecting me to my machine. When I log it back to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, I got a notification that one cloud PC was not provisioned properly. That means the alert was invoked properly and I should get an alert. If I go to the Windows 365 Alert Cloud PCs, I see that one machine was failed provisioning and the alert was working fine. And from my point of view, uh, I've configured everything. I showed you everything what I want to show you on this movie. We created an enrollment alerts uh, and I got that alert notification on the Microsoft Intune. I created also a def enrollment notification for the end user and I showed you how this look, uh, a notification is looks like for the end user. And the end user don't need to check if the machine is already provisioned. So it is a very nice feature for the Microsoft Intune. So thank you for watching that movie and see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.